Hey, I'm Billy Drain from Miller Industries, and today we're lucky enough to have Jeremy Robinson from TWG to talk about a couple of the DP Winch products. Uh, cable management is something that's very important uh, to our products, so we brought Jeremy in to talk about the DP35 and the DP50 and the differences between the two and some things to look for when you're doing your preventative maintenance cycle. Hey, thanks for having me, Billy. Today we want to talk about the differences between the DP Winch Model 35 and the DP Winch Model 50s and how they operate internally. And on the 35s, when you're in free spool mode, you're turning the gear sets through gear oil when you're in free spool, so there's internal drag. On the Model 50s, it's a total drum free spool, there's no internal drag, and therefore we have an external drag brake to help offset the lack of friction internally from the DP total drum free spool. To set your air pressure settings for your DP25s and 35s, you want to set your air pressure to between 40 and 60 PSI with the air regulators in your console. On the Model 50s, you want to set that pressure higher to 80 PSI. With the 50s, you want the air pressure higher because you don't have the internal drag of the planetary winches to pull through. Okay, we're at the DP50. We're going to talk about walking through setting the drag brake of the winch. You'll need a couple of adjustable wrenches. There's a jam nut and a bolt, and those are your two adjustment settings. So with the winch in free spool, you're going to have somebody pull the cable out, and as they pull the cable out and they stop, you want enough tension on this bolt and drag brake pad to stop the drum immediately. So when they stop pulling, you want the drum to stop turning. Once you have that setting, you will tighten up this jam nut to lock it into place. So what happens if your drag brake is out of adjustment? When you're free spooling your winch drum and the, band, and the cable stops pulling and the drum continues to turn because you don't have enough tension on the drag brake, the inner layers of the cable are going to loosen up. And if the inner layers of the cable loosen up, the next time you pull, the cable's going to dive down between layers and damage your wire rope. Thanks, Jeremy. That's a lot of helpful information. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our news feed to get all the latest tips and tricks from Miller Industries. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.